I think one of the reasons Hazel was so successful is because even if it was not a maid, almost everybody knew somebody like Hazel. It might be a family member, it might be your great aunt, or it might be somebody who was in your church who happened to be one of these busybody members that loved to annoy the preacher at the back door after the sermon. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to know why I said that, it's because I've told you before, my father, he couldn't stand Hazel when it was on as a regular series on Thursday nights on NBC. And yet when the reruns came on, he loved it. He never would miss it. It was on 6.30 every night where we lived down in Jacksonville, Florida, and he loved it. And I said, why do you watch this now when you always wanted us to turn the channel when it was on? He said, because in the church I was pastoring at that time, she reminded me of two busybody old women in the church that I... <laughs> I tried to forget when I was at home. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But I wonder if any of you pastors out there have had any similar feelings about that. But uh, Shirley Booth was just perfect in this role. And Don DeFore created that kind of chemistry. Even though this was not a Mr. B. Hazel type of conflict show, uh, even in that situation, you always knew when it was all over with, Mr. B really loved Hazel. He really did. And, of course, Dorothy, you find out in this episode, as, as was mentioned several other times, is that uh, she was with Dorothy's family for a long, long time, and Hazel practically raised Dorothy. And she was pretty much doing the same thing with Harold. Bobby Buntrock had a very, very sad ending. Uh, no, he didn't go into drugs. He didn't go into uh, anything that some of these child stars did that took them in a different direction. Of course, we never really saw him on anything after Hazel ended in its final season on CBS in 1966. But he had a traffic accident. He was just in his early 20s and had a traffic accident that killed him. And unfortunately, uh, nobody knows whether he would have gone on and tried to be an adult actor or whether he was going to pursue another type of career. But he was always a fun child. He didn't dominate the show on Hazel. He was not an overacting child. And he's one of those that oftentimes is forgotten because we never did see him after Hazel. But uh, he was always a very pleasant character on that show. Well, now we're going to transition you to one of the great all-time variety specials that network television ever presented. In fact, it's still considered to be legendary, but there's something very it, this is historic about this show. It goes back to 1957, and it's called The Edsel Show. And it stars, among others, Bing Crosby, Louis Armstrong, Frank Sinatra, and Rosemary Clooney. Now, that's a billion dollars worth of musical talent right there. But what happened is that this was the first show that was ever videotaped while it was airing live. One of the problems early television had was that shows that were done live on the East Coast then had to be somehow presented three hours later on the West Coast. So many times if it was a live show, it was one week late because before videotape, they had what was known as kinescopes where they had a video camera that was pointed, it was a film camera that was pointed in a television monitor. And that's why some of those early ones are so grainy. But anyway, what happened is they decided in this point, and Bing Crosby had put a lot of money into videotape research and development because he was so nervous at doing live television that he felt like if they could ever perfect videotape that it would loosen him up a lot more because he could correct the mistakes. Well, this show was done live regardless, uh, particularly for the East Coast, but it was also videotaped at the same time. Videotape did not come out uh, for commercial use until late 1956. But this was an early 1957 variety show. And they also did a kinescope of it, which that was the one that pretty well had survived. But what they didn't know, namely the researchers who uncovered this thing, is that one of the engineers who actually worked on the Edsel show. Uh, he was still alive and he had the only videotape copy that exists and he was using it for a doorstop at his house. It was in a box. So they made negotiations with it and somehow this thing has been preserved and it looks almost like it's live. So we're going to take you back now. Man, every time that I add up the math on this, 63 years, but this is going to be 
as first class of musical entertainment as you will ever see. It was a special to introduce Ford's new model called the Edsel. Unfortunately, the Edsel didn't last. Thank goodness this show lasted. So here we go. Let's watch all together the Edsel show. <laughs> 